level flow light is lit while the low level flow light is on. That's not physically possible. It sits higher. That's why it's the high level flow. So we're going to take this high level float out by pulling straight down. We're going to remove the flow. Now look at the board. It's still lit and it should be because it's an open circuit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close the circuit on the harness to see if we can get that light to go out. I've made a little jumper here. See this ice machine's really dirty. And the light went out. So what that tells me is that this harness works. But let's pretend for a second that didn't go out. Just stayed lit. At that point, what we'd end up doing is we unplug this from the board. Now we created an open circuit on both. Now you gotta be careful here, because we've got live components. All right, the board recognized the closed circuit on the high float and the light went out. The board recognized the closed circuit on the low float and the light went out. The board knows what it's being told. We have a bad ice thickness float switch. At that point, you'd ohm out that float. This is the ice thickness float switch. When the ball is down, it's a closed circuit. When the ball is up, it's supposed to be an open circuit. So I'm gonna put the ball down, and I'm gonna ohm this out. Now it's tight, so we're reading open line with the ball down and open line with the ball up. That's not supposed to be that way. When the ball is down, the circuit is closed. When the ball is up, the circuit is open. This float has failed. You check the board, you check the harness, everything else is good. This has gone defective and needs to be replaced.